Hello guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a collapsible side nav like this. So menu items you can click. Then if you click on the white space, it expand, shrink, expand. There's icon left. In the official documentation of Angular Material Side Nav, you will see that you can actually build this kind of collapsible uh, side nav very easily because there's already a variable called opened, which you can just use two weighted binding and link it to, to whatever control button or something. You click on the button the whole side nav disappears. You click on again, uh, the side nav reappears, uh, which is not what I'm going to show here. Here you can see there's still icons. The side nav is always shown. I think in the official documentation that side nav open close is redundant because uh, if you look at this web app, I didn't use any side nav. I just used this button to trigger the navigation button, uh, menu button. This is much better than having a side nav bar showing up disappearing this so it's just redundant if you're going to do the kind of mechanism in the official documentation you want to show and hide the whole side nav bar you just skip side nav use a button and menu directly this is much cleaner instead of doing the side nav thing skip that to api completely now how do i implement this little guy uh, where you can actually click on a button uh, it shows the material can and when you click on the white area it expand and there's also mouse over tips yeah so when you're collapsed people can still mouse over and figure out oh what this is for so this is very very easy i'm going to show you uh first uh, this is the code um the com component uh component is actually does not have a lot of stuff at all it imports a menu list of menus and there's a collapse basically says the state is cla not collapsed by default but when you click on the button the in, when you invoke this toggle sidebar uh, function, it changed to true, and the sidebar uh, sidebar becomes collapsed. So here's the template. As you can see, it's just a few lines of code. I put the toggle sidebar on the whole side nav. Um, so basically, this whole section, as long as you click on an area other than these icons, it will expand and collapse. So I use the whole side nav as control. But when you click on the button, I have this guy. Uh, you can see, uh, let me show here. Click event stop propagation. So if I click on this button, it will not expand. It only shows the corresponding content. It will not expand or collapse because the event is not a prom propagated to the parent component. Uh, sorry, parent container element, yeah. So you click on the button, it stop propagation so it, you, you click on button does not equal to the clicking on the sidebar when you click on an area of the sidebar other than the button it will toggle sidebar of course you can just do it this way remove this toggle sidebar and place another button on top when you click on the button on top you can toggle the sidebar i think which is redundant this is redundant you just use the whole bar as toggle click anywhere on the bar it toggles you don't have to create another button on top it's just redundant. Um, so, so here you can see we have the side nav container, full height, auto size is equals true. So whenever the buttons are displayed, you just have a narrower sidebar. When there's text, you have a wider sidebar. Mat sidebar mode equals side. It is a standard thing. Yeah, it's open by default. Whenever you click on some area other than those buttons, you click on the white space. It will toggle the sidebar between the icon and the full sidebar. Yeah. And then you can see I use the loop to create all the items. Um, when I click the icon or the text, there's stop propagation. When I click on the blank area on the sidebar, it toggles. And here uh, you can see I use the span hidden equals collapse. These are the text. Whenever toggle, these texts are either hidden or showing. So that's how the toggle works. This is standard mat menu, right? I loop through the menu items, uh, the router link, and also, uh, there's some tooltip. Yeah, Matt, Matt icon have Matt tooltip. Everything is saved in this object. I create a class called a menu list, and there's a uh, the name on the menu, the router, your route, uh, the mouse over tips, and icon material icon. So that's basically how you implement this uh, collapsible uh, menu. In Angular, feel free to download the code from GitHub. Um, so this little guy, as I mentioned, you can of course put a button here or put a button on top. 
to toggle, but I think it's redundant. I would rather just use the toggle with the whole bar. As long as there's some white space on the whole bar, and when you click on button, it's not promulgated, uh, propagated, but when you click on white space, it expands or shrink. Okay, thank you. That's my video.